Welcome back to the Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Delighted to be able to spend some time with Shell Hor- Horowitz, and he is a uh, author. Uh, he is a leader in, uh, in and uh, executive with the first business ever to bring Green American Gold certifi- certified, and has been inducted into the National Environment Hall of Fame. And uh, also, he has a TED Talk, which means uh, I instantly envy him because I'm a TED Talk geek. One of these days, I, I, I've got several TED Talk uh, topics. I just got to get uh, off my uh, derriere to go uh, to go do one. But uh, I'm, I'm uh, a fan of TED Talks and anyone who's participated in them because TED Talks make you think. Shell, how are you, sir? Just great, Kevin. And how are you? I'm doing well. Tell us a little bit about uh, your company, which is Principled Profit, marketing that puts people first. Yeah, that's actually the name of a book that is now out of print. My newer book is Guerrilla Marketing Goes Green, and also an e-book called Green and Profitable. But all of them are about the idea that business can profit by doing the right thing. That it's Guerrilla marketing, easier. you know, obviously that concept, that terminology uh, you know, J. Conrad Levinson is a franchise uh, when it comes to the term, uh, the expression guerrilla marketing. Uh, is he involved in this work as well? Yeah, his name is on the front cover with mine on the guerrilla marketing goes. Oh, down. yeah, there you go. Yeah, and um, so he is my official co author. And uh, it's great to be part of the biggest marketing brand in, in history. And the interesting thing is, I talk about in a lot of my writing how partnerships can help both people. So in my case, I get the cachet of being a guerrilla marketing author and the access to the huge guerrilla marketing association list and other good things. And Jay gets entry into a whole new segment of the market where he didn't particularly have strong credentials. Mm-hmm. So he is now, I think, considerably more well-known in the green market than he was before we did this book together. He has also passed on since. Yes, yes, yeah. Jay has been on, was on my show uh, a few times over the years, a, a very, very creative uh, thinker, and uh, his uh, work is missed, of course. Uh, tell us why, in particular, the green angle matters so much. I mean, we, we hear green all the time. I understand that. But, but, but tell us why it's important from a business perspective to incorporate that in the way you do things. Number one, your customers are going to demand it more and more. The green market is growing faster than pretty much anything else out there. Number two, it actually lowers your costs and increases your profits, so why wouldn't you do it? Uh, Number three, if you're a parent or a grandparent, you want to think about the world you're leaving to your children, and you want to have it be a world that they can thrive in. So those are three among many reasons. But green is actually, Kevin, only the first step. I, I really think we need to be looking as a business community at how we can use our skills to profit while solving hunger and poverty and war and climate change. Tell me a little bit about the range of which you see green messaging being incorporated in a way a business conveys itself. Okay, well, you look at, obviously, companies like Whole Foods or Ben & Jerry's kind of make a career out of this, and Patagonia, a lot of big-name companies that have really done incredible things in these areas. But then you look at Walmart, General Electric, companies you don't think of as being particularly green, but if you look closer, you see that they are making and saving millions and millions of dollars by doing this, and that they are very big cheerleaders for this movement. Yeah, no question about it. So you mentioned, uh, obviously, some of the most important enterprise-level companies out there. What about the uh, small to uh, mid-sized business owner? Where do they start when they start thinking green in their marketing? Well, I'm a solopreneur working from a farmhouse. You don't get too much smaller than my business. One of the things I've done is I've switched to a two-sided laser printer so that I cut my paper bill in half. Another thing I did actually is bump up the screen font in my monitor so that I don't have to print as often. So between those two things, my cost of paper dropped by roughly half. Uh, That's one green thing. Also, energy, of course, we did things like insulate the outside wall outlets with foam pads and with outlet protectors, the little things you buy in the hardware store to keep babies from poking their fingers in. They're also quite effective at keeping cold air out, warm air in in the winter, and the reverse in the summer. So a business of any size can do this. Uh, in fact, I find that most of the really creative stuff that's going on is coming from small, small companies. Things like D-Light. This is an amazing company out of California with 
branches in Africa and Asia, they sell $20 solar-powered LED lanterns, and they sell them to people who, for the most part, have been using kerosene. They do it on a payment plan, so the money that these people had been paying for kerosene, within a few months they've bought the lamp outright. They never need to spend that money again, or maybe not for five years while the lamp lasts. They've eliminated the toxic fumes from the kerosene. They've eliminated the severe risk of fire. You would not believe how many people die or are seriously injured in kerosene burns. So this, and the, the cool thing is it's a better quality of light. So not only are you making it safer, not only are you making it cheaper, but you're actually enabling this family, maybe they're working in the fields all day, they come home and it's been too dark for them to do anything much, but now the kids can do their homework and get better grades, and the parents can maybe do some sort of small cottage industry and make a little side income, and this little $20 piece of hardware becomes a ladder out of poverty. I think that's pretty remarkable. Very interesting. Final thoughts? One thing I would love to tell people is that they want to explore this more deeply. I will give a 15-minute free consultation if they mention you, and they can tweet me at S-H-E-L-H-O-R-O-W-I-T-Z or write to me at S-H-E-L, just one L, at greenandprofitable.com and mention yes. you know, and we'll set that up. Greenandprofitable.com, that is a better uh, website to uh, pursue. And you can be found on Twitter at Shell Horowitz. Shell Horowitz is S-H-E-L-H-O-R-O-W-I-T-Z. Thanks so much, Shell. Thank you, Kevin. It's a pleasure. When we come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, though, that Best Content Here does show up over there at USDavidReview.com. While there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. We're 